Hi again, it's Ryan Miller with Admin Interactive, and I'm joined today by my director of marketing, Scott Feldman. And uh, this is actually this is kind of a, a fun thing. This yeah. is the first time we're doing a joint video. And what we're going to talk about is the, the big change that happened to Google a little bit over a month ago. Uh, the code name that was given to it was Hummingbird. Now, uh, Scott, maybe before we get into questions, I want to take a second to talk about something, a little, little um, keyword definition here. We're going to talk a lot about the algorithm today. Now, the way to think about the algorithm is this is, uh, this is Google's recipe for rankings. Now, Google looks at hundreds of small factors to decide who's going to make it to the top of the search results. And um, Hummingbird is this, this code name that's given to, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's the replacement of the algorithm. That's correct. So uh, this is kind of a big deal. Can you, I guess, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, Google actually hasn't, hasn't done a full-scale change of their algorithm, again, how they rank sites um, in 15 years. <laughs> So it, it, it's a big deal in, in a sense that they haven't done this, yeah. but not necessarily in, in what, what's actually contained in the algorithm. So in this newsletter, we, we talk a lot in the, in the videos that we've produced in the past about updates. And how is this different from an update? The difference is when there's an update, it's an update to the algorithm. Okay. This is where Google actually took their existing full, full algorithm and swapped it completely out. Okay, so updates are like changes, small fixes, patches. This is really this is about Google making really a, a, a big a big switch. It's Old big, algorithms gone, new gra new algorithms in place. Yeah, absolutely. Is everything brand new? I mean, we're starting from scratch. No, not starting from scratch, and okay. that's the important thing. So okay. there's a, a lot of those little updates or tweaks mm -hmm. that that were gotcha. going on in the past are contained in this new algorithm. Gotcha. So I guess let's, let's talk about what's really changed. What did Hummingbird really do for search? What it's really done for search is it, it's, it talks about um, differences in how people are searching. Okay. So what people are doing specifically on their mobile devices, they're actually vo using Google Voice Search. Okay. And they're speaking in full sentences. So they're actually asking questions. There are longer tail keywords. And then there's also the other significant change is really related to Google's knowledge graph and how they're using the information that, that they have in the database and how they're actually answering some of these questions on their own. So two significant changes. One of the changes is about, and I know we, we've talked about this before, it's called semantic search, which is trying to understand the meaning of the words that go into that search box. Uh, it sounds like, you know, anymore I do this, when I want to search for something, I just talk to my mobile phone and I don't, I don't type one or two phrases. I say, you know, hey, Google, find me the best pizza parlor within 30 miles of my house. And to make that work, Google's got to understand that this is a, the word parlor relates to pizza and that find means to search and where my house is located. It's got to figure a lot of things out very quickly to give me a fast search result. Yep. And then the knowledge graph is really about Google's ability to um, kind of answer questions without sending you to sites. And I understand they're also taking in and understanding more content about, well, about our clients' pages, about each one of our client sites, more information about the, the origin, the credibility, the popularity of your content. So uh, those two big changes, that's pretty significant. What's the impact for our clients? There is there is an impact for our clients in, in maybe the way that they're developing content okay. today. Um, so you know you talked about we talked about how people are actually asking full scale questions instead of short um, shorter keyword queries, mm -hmm. and we may want to be developing content where we're we're developing it in a way where we're answering those questions or we're expanding the content to include frequently asked question pages, things like that. So the ability, our ability to, and anybody's ability to track performance by looking at keyword rankings, um, it sounds like what you're saying is, as more people are searching in more diverse ways, it's gonna be a little tougher for rankings to give us the full picture. So what, what ways can we use to track success in search marketing in this, in this changing landscape? Well, uh, talking about rankings on the individual keywords isn't going to be in, as important as, as it was in the past. Okay. Looking at visitation numbers, looking at lead capture numbers, that's what really should, should really come front and center. So how many people are coming from the search engines? Maybe not exactly how you're ranked for uh, a million different long phrases. Correct. Okay. Um, what else, what, what other impacts exist for our clients? I know one of the things that we've talked about historically is the importance of content. Still important going forward? Content is king. It's yeah. been king. It's it's probably even more important that, that we're developing quality content. Gotcha. Now, I guess is in terms of wrapping that up then and thinking about what else is important, 
you know, one of the things that we had talked about as we were preparing for this, this newsletter was that social media may, in fact, be on the rise. Um, what advice do we have for our clients you know, really in that area? So our, our advice for our clients is really to diversify. Mm-hmm. As the web continues to, to diversify, and if Google is looking at a lot of different factors and content that's being developed in a lot of different areas, we want to make sure that we're developing content on those properties. So, you know, I, it's funny. I, we hear this question all the time. Anytime there's a, a big change at Google, and I've got to ask it, it's a little tongue-in-cheek, but... Um, does this mean that search engine optimization is dead? No, no. <laughs> search engine optimization isn't dead. SEO isn't dead. Um, yes, the, there are some differences here, but really, as we just talked about, content is king. Developing yeah. your content is really important. Individual keyword rankings, not necessarily so important, but the foundation principles are still there. Yeah. Now. One of the things for me that really stood out is um, this change rolled out almost six weeks ago now. And while there has been a lot of volatility over the last you know, last six weeks or so, in the month of September in particular, I could search the same keyword phrase three different times on the same day and get three very different sets of results. And that's common when Google is rolling out something new. But for the most part, you know, all those people who were ranking well before this shift continue to rank well. Um, not just for you know, the specific phrase that are targeting, but again, for those long tail words and phrases that people are using on their phone. Um, and the same strategies, is, you know, does, this, does this warrant a huge change in, in the strategic direction for search engine marketing campaigns? No, no, the principles are still really the same. You know, developing content is obviously gonna be more important. So you may, you may see less what you would call traditional link building and more content development. Gotcha. But it really doesn't, it doesn't change our strategy, except that, again, to diversify, look for traffic sources from other places yeah. um, and develop content on other sites. So I think we just take a moment really quickly and we'll sum back up. We're talking about Hummingbird at Google. This is probably the biggest change there in about the last 15 years. I think the last big algorithm replacement was back in uh, it was about 12 years ago. And when we stop and we look at the impact for your office, uh, basically the impact is probably going to be pretty small, but it does point to a couple of different strategies. Number one, keyword rankings, maybe not as important as in the past, um, ultimately because more people are searching with more diverse keyword phrases because we're, we're talking to our phones. Taking the time to really focus on great content development strategies and diversifying where that content appears is, is good. I heard you say that. Absolutely. And then working to build trust, and trust in the virtual sense is often communicated through things like Um, likes, fans, followers, and the sharing of your content today, uh, which really means uh, increasing your involvement in social media. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of the impact of Hummingbird. Thank you very much, Scott. Sure, thanks for having me. And uh, thanks everyone for, uh, for paying attention today.